Hello, I'm Peach Poncho, and today we're going to be playing Northbound. Uh, Northbound is a very short game from what I've read on the website. It was uh, made in 2018, and um, it was a university project. Uh, let me pull up the website and read it real fast. Um, basically, uh, the premise of the game is, you know, an adventure game that's set during a road trip, uh, having just graduated from university but lacking direction and purpose in life, you think back to the times when life was simpler and everything just seemed easier. So you decide to go on a road trip with your childhood friends to a lake where you spent your summers together in the past. But on the way there, you realize that a lot has changed since you were kids. Now, I thought that sounded uh, really interesting, considering I am a recent college graduate. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I'm curious how much I'll be able to relate to it. Uh, I, I think that they uh, actually were planning on like redoing the game. At least that's what I saw from the Itch.io uh, listing on the website. Uh, but I couldn't find anything for like a new version of the game. Uh, could have just overlooked it. But yeah, so uh, let's jump into it. Okay. Jump right on in. <laughs> I'm really excited. I love like um anything for a trip related. I love it. Three years. Three years of my life I'd spent sitting in lectures, wandering those halls, socializing with young creative people. Now, we've all graduated. Everyone has plans. Everyone has ambitions. Everyone has grown up. Everyone but me. Now that is a vibe. <laughs> I feel like that's a super relatable thing though. Where you feel like you're the only one who doesn't have direction or plans in life, but like, I'd say at least like 50% of the other people around you are also winging it and do not know what they're doing or what they want to do. <laughs> And maybe these guys, you, Jens, and Fred. Oh, you just click, okay. Yeah. Hey guys. Long time no see. Listen, Jens, we're not listening. We're reading. Hey, BTW? You. Yeah. I'll be done with school in June. So I thought, let's go on a road trip together? Jens, where to? You. Oh, the Aurora Boreas. <laughs> That's a cute little van. Fred. Tolu Kinnan Lake? I wonder if that's a real lake. I feel like it probably is. You. Yes. You know, for old time's sake? Jens, I don't know. We're not 12 anymore. And isn't that like a two day drive? Mm, yes, give me that road trip content. <laughs> I love road trips more than I should. However, I think I think a part of that might be because like I can't drive. Uh, so obviously on road trips, I don't do any of the driving. I'm just like the passenger, and I imagine being the passenger in a road trip is like eight times more fun than having to drive during the road trip. Jen's an awfully boring two-day drive. You. Come on, guys, it'll be fun. Just the three of us. Fred, I'm on board. Jens, and last I checked, none of us had a car. Jen, uh, Fred? Jens, your parents still got their old bus? Jens, I guess. Fred, so we're set. When are, uh, when are we going? <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Summer, I guess. I'm flexible. Fred, cool. XD. <laughs> Jens. Should we, uh, able to make it? Fred, I'm pumped. You know, cool. I'll keep you posted. Talk to you later. I'm wondering if I should read, like, the... Fred, you. I feel like it, like, chops it up more, but at the same time, I know that not everyone watches videos, they just kind of like to listen to them. And, uh, when you're just listening, it might be good for the clarification. <laughs> Jens, you're not talking. You're writing. 
Oh god, Jen's one of those people. <laughs> Three months later. Today's the day, huh? Jen should arrive any minute now. Oh, go around. No sign of him yet. Well, I am. I feel like I'm really tall. But the store is really short. Right click. Oh, okay. <laughs> is he late? Dots. Nah. Jens has never been late. Maybe I should get my bag. Just in case I didn't know where the bag was. Oh, oh, I can look at things. No mail today. My parents are probably still asleep. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna click uh, the doorbell. I know the bags there, I just. I like trying to interact with stuff before progressing. Okay. Guess I'm all set. Okay. 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 You can zoom. You, oh, you hold him. Okay. That's how you rotate. North, the northern visage. Guess I'm all set. Oh! There's a throw button. What? Not happy to see me? Come a little closer, would you? Drop. Pick up. Very nice. Hey, man. Hey, Jens. How are you? Long time to see right on time. Long time no see. Tell me about it. When did we last meet? Like nine months ago? This is so relatable. <laughs> it sucks. Like, whenever you're away at college, you just do not get to see your friends as often. Like, because obviously, uh, I can't drive, <laughs> as, I, as I mentioned. Uh, so it's not like I could just be like, oh, I'm just going to take like a two hour drive down to see my friends from high school. You couldn't do that. And, like, I don't know. It just, it really sucks, because you miss them, and then it's like been a year and you haven't seen them, and you're like, well damn, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> when did we last meet? Like nine months ago? I think it was last August, so more like ten. Man, I haven't been here in years. You living with your parents again? Yeah, temporarily, now just visiting. Temporarily, that's what I did after I graduated. I stayed with my mom for like a month while I got like the apartment situated. Oh, temporarily. I'm sure your folks are happy to see you. Hey, hey buddy, here in the back. <laughs> Great seeing you. Now get in the bus already. I'm gotta introduce you to my girl girlfriend, Kari. Hi. As you can see, friends and high spirits as well. And he's right, we should get going. Come on, get in the bus. I still can't believe we're actually doing this, guys. Going up to the lake with my two best bros. Reminds me of high school, right guys? I feel bad for Kari. <laughs> Cause she does not look like, she does not look like she's having a good time. So I'm just gonna look around real quick. Oh, shit, Polaroid, I love Polaroids. No regrets. Am I just, am I standing here? I'm not even sitting down. <laughs> oh, there's a train. I'm enjoying I I'm just, I love all the little details. I'm enjoying it probably more than I should be. It's so like, ah, so nice, okay. I guess, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna be enthusiastic. We're having a good time. I love road trips. That's the spirit. Speaking of spirits, oh. I think it's time for our first beer of the trip. Bro, it's too early in the morning to put that. Turn the music up, Jens. Sure. <laughs> but no beer for me, thanks. Well, I would hope not. I don't get too wild. I'm not sure how much of the floor is rust. You're drinking one later then. Come on, toss me a can. 
just looking around. Are, these are bottles, not cans. It's a plate. Oh, that's... Water, just bottled water. At least it's not carbonated. True. Hate carbonation. Oh, I can you drink it. That means it's time for the young that, That's certainly playing. water. Ow. <laughs> Today, Henrik from Osterwald wants us to I thought you stopped. Henry I did. Saying for like a month. Really deserved it. Oh, boy. Okay, this that's is enough. So now. Let's I'm do trying it. Trying to hit you. I just don't want to throw it on the floor. Our starry sky is still up there. That was so cool when we were kids. Hello. I used to eat like Hello. two of these Am every I single day when money was tight. Bjorgen? Yes, that's me. Also, I do Who not know this? what's going on in the background. Uh, this is police <laughs> constable Eric Birkelan from the Osterwald Police Department. I sincerely regret to inform you that your son just died. Maggie Ravoli, Ravioli, no, 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 a true no, no. music festival classic. Why him? He was so young. I is going on? <laughs> oh, you're standing there. Did you take a picture of the Nakari? <laughs> I think I saw our old boy right somewhere. Uh, first... Stay on the line. I'm gonna send you a t-shirt. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Grab yourself one, too. Just don't get too drunk. I don't want to drive all day. Haha, <laughs> okay, Inspector. Cheers. I don't know what those mean. Cheers. May carry that with you into your grave. Make yourself comfortable now. Gosh, dang. Thank you so much for all Östok Wilma beds and mattresses. Here we go. Östok, e. it's your home. Can we use pictures with? It even still has film in it. Perfect. Thanks, man. I'll put it on the board later. Careful, film is expensive as hell. There's only like 10 shots left. I guess I'll, I'll save them. Yep, small shit. <laughs> I, I don't like beer. I don't drink beer. Uh, oh, Game Boy. Well, Itagi Wonder Dude. Thought I lost it. Oh, yeah. I'd always meant to give it back to you, but I always kind of forgot. Awesome, dude. Remember when we played Pocket Dudes together? I still have my copy at home. We should do that again sometime, someday. Leave that one for now. What am I picking? Oh, it's a bottle. Wow, fancy craft beer. Who bought that? We did, but feel free to take one. Ah, um, no, it's okay. I want to drink all your beer. Soda make you fat? What? This radio is wild. Okay, well, let me zoom in. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna spend this entire fucking... This entire thing just, like, organizing the car. I need to pee. Can we stop somewhere? I really need to pee. I was still exploring. I'm just gonna eat those chips. Also, why don't I get to sit down? Okay, there we go. I think we have to leave the highway around here somewhere. But I don't remember where. Can you help me out here? Should be a map in the glove box. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Eat. I always preferred red apples. Yeah. Spect. This tape by Jen's dad. It's probably lying here for 20 years now. Come on, I want to take it out. I want to put it in. Rosenwald, isn't that where they said that UFO crash? Don't tell me you believe in that. Hey, I didn't say I believed in it. Though it would be pretty cool. Oh hey, Tour Guard Park. Isn't that where we went uh, to summer camp in fifth grade? Yes, where Benny Meyerson got attacked by that badger. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Poor Benny, he was never the same after that. Why is there a skull on the map? A skull? Let me see. Oh, you drew that, remember? That's where the bus broke down, and we drove up to the lake with my parents. Oh yeah, and we got towed into that little village and lost a whole day of summer vacation. I was pissed. You were so pissed, you ate a corner of the mattress. We had to replace that. Clara Van Forest. That was our school trip, right? 
Yeah, second year of high school. Right. We smuggled so much beer in behind Mrs. Van Der Handen's back. And we were we roasted marshmallows by the campfire and told ghost stories. Yeah, Fred knew the best ghost stories. Remember Cannibal Lobster Man? Emma literally jumped off the tree when she heard that. Exchange student Emma or my aunt? Exchange student, uh. Why is Thurving circled in red? I drove Fred there a few years back when his college girlfriend got sick. That's really cute, in a way. Guess it wasn't Kari? No, in fact, they broke up the week after that. Ouch. Naya Mansberg. Isn't that where you lived before you moved here? Don't remind me of that broke ass sinkhole of sadness and despair. Naya Nye- Mansberg isn't even a good place to die, let alone live. Jeez, okay. The lake. We should go there every year. There's a vacation place. Yeah, until we finished high school. What was that, like four years ago? Something like that. It's been seven. Oh, he's graduated college. What, are you sure? Holy shit, you're right. Uh, I said it's been seven, yeah. <laughs> Time really flies, huh? Vacation Wasteland. Oh man, remember when your parents drove the three of us up there? I do. We spent the entire weekend up there. We did. It was also my 10th birthday and you did bring me a present. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Hey. Is this what I'm supposed to be finding his exit or whatever on? It's a map. Hey Jen, did you read this in sc- uh, high school? I'm still reading it actually. It's a 17 part series. Wow. My nap. I, I feel like I've looked at everything at, on it. I'm missing. Sir, I don't. What you want me to do? Okay. Listen, I, I don't. Bring back the memories I'd rather not have. I'm just gonna eat all our food. I don't know if I should waste her photos. I'll wait, I'll wait. Oh, that's cute. Do you want us to crash? Because that's how you make us crash. And hold hands. So, um, you still in contact with anyone from school? Well, I'm seeing you guys right now. Alright, I met Ro- Rowald on the bus recently. Rowald? You know, from art class. Oh yeah, the one who wanted to study animation, right? How did that turn out for him? Well, he started working at his dad's, listening to the station, didn't talk much beyond that. Does seem to be doing okay, though. Hmm. Hmm. Let's also put something I shouldn't touch. What about you? Huh? You still see anyone from uh from school? Oh no, I haven't since I moved out. Sometimes I caught a glimpse of someone at university, but I never really talked to them, so no, no one really. I prefer from you guys, of course. Very occasionally. Guilty as charged. I can do this. You guys holding up okay? What do you think about Fred and Kari? Can they not hear us? Are we whispering? Psst. Do you really want to talk about that right now? Don't worry, even if they're not asleep, they have earphones in. It's almost like they don't want to talk to us. Don't be like that. They're in love. Well, it's about the eighth time Fred's been in love. And even if it wasn't, that's no excuse to ignore us. Fred did not tell us that she'd come along until we picked him up. 
Yeah, I know that's really bad taste. Like, really bad to, like, just randomly drag, like, bring someone along to an outing without, like, asking first. That's, that's really crappy. <laughs> Expecting us to just be okay with that. Come on, it's only been a few hours and he's clearly tired. I'll be better tomorrow. Maybe you're right. We'll see. There we go. Mastered it. I am just convinced I am missing something on this map. But he he's not gotten upset with me for not finding it yet, so So um I don't mean to intrude, but what happened between you and Tina? Oh, that we just kinda drifted apart, I guess. Arguments became more frequent. She wanted a cat. I wanted a dog. She wanted to immigrate. I didn't. She was very active. And I just can't deal with that anymore. We're getting old, gents. Old! Such is life. Nothing to get upset over. Damn, gents. We should take a picture together, then. Right here, right now. I'm really tempted. I feel like I'm gonna waste all the film. You know what? Screw it. Jens, this is a memorable moment. We're a couple of homies. Dots. Are you not more entertaining? about before. I told myself I won't let these things get to me anymore. And neither should you. I'm sorry for being such a downer. It's just, I've got quite a lot to do, quite a lot of responsibility. I wouldn't have agreed had Fred not jumped on this whole road trip thing, so I was skeptical from the start. And I thought it would get better once we were on the road, but it didn't. I'm just not sure if any of this was a good idea. Neither am I. Dang. That's sad. Oh, I'm drunk right now. Mind if I tune out for a few hours? I'm pretty beat. Can't you keep me company? Ah, it's okay. You can find up. We've already talked a lot. It's pretty much impossible to get lost in the next few hundred kilometers anyways. Just keep heading north. Are we northbound? I have to steer? Oh, I, I hate that. I hate that. Oh, I've already talked about the fact I can't drive. <laughs> Don't make me do it in a game. Oh, I'm gonna get so stressed out. Can I like crash and kill us on accident? What's that? Is this like a, um, like a, what's it called? Is it like a manual? Is that what it is? So I'll accelerate. Well, this looks like the kind of, uh, Road? I doubt it though. Oh, she is conked. <laughs> Check the mirrors. We do not drink and drive. 
I'm going to water those. Oh, the other picture's up. Ducks. I don't think this trip was a good idea. Aww. I'm sorry. Like I should have done more in that scene. It, do you guys really just make me stand? You guys are kind of assholes. <laughs> Cheap discounted chips. You want any chips, man? Hmm, what is it? Nothing on the radio? Nah, I couldn't get anything on it all morning. Maybe it finally broke. Oh, that one's really good. That one I didn't realize I actually had to point it correctly. So, uh, you guys want to play anything or, as you can no doubt tell, I'm driving. You should try that too sometime. <laughs> Fine. And you? You brought something? Well, no. I only brought boots. <laughs> but I thought you'd have something. No? Okay. Then not, I guess. Bro. Hmm, <laughs> I didn't sleep so well. All you've done is sleep. Look at that pillow. Let's look at this. I am gonna sit down here. Perfect. Okay, seriously, what is it? Huh? You look like you've been regretting this ever since we left. Are you not even- you haven't even talked to me. Just hang out with your girlfriend. Maybe I have. Oh, come on. It's not so bad, is it? We're young, it's summer, we have alcohol, and we're going to the lake. And I mean, it was your idea after all. You're right, but I don't know. It'll get better when we get there. Oh, come on. You know what they say. The journey is the reward. Cheer up. I'm trying to. There's no such thing as trying. You'd want to. You'd have fun. Oh, I hate that mentality. I hate it. That is not how that works. You cannot, like, I, it's like that whole, like, you just have to wake up every morning and choose happiness. That is not how that works. You cannot, like, manipulate your feelings like that. You, you can't control them in that manner. You control how you respond to them and what you do with them. You can't force yourself to have fun. All that stuff is just in your head, dude. I said I'm trying. It's not that easy. I said I'm trying. Chill out. Nah, come on. You're just being lazy. Oh, you know what? Give me something to throw at him. All of this is pointless if you don't want to enjoy yourself, dude. That's not exactly helpful. Now you can see this is exactly the wrong approach. And you're projecting your problems onto me. I'm just trying to help you. You're a dick. It's hardly my fault you're so goddamn miserable. Fred. No, no, no. He needs to hear this. Even Kari knows you're being a jerk. You're pulling us all down with your shitty attitude. He's not having any more fun than I am. That's not my intention. Shut it. It's not my attention. I'm my oh. <gasps> I'm gonna commit an act of violence. It's not my intention. Why are you listening to yourself? Calm down, you two. I have... <sighs> Don't you dare blame this on me. <laughs> oh, shut your nap mouth. No one asked you. One more word and you're walking home. Oh, now you're threatening me? What are you, my dad? Fucking look at the two of you. You're old and miserable and boring. And you just fucking accept it. What happened to no regrets, no respect, huh? Look at you. We were listening to that guy when we were 13. Oh, is he like one of those dudes who like listens to like alpha male podcasts and stuff? <laughs> it's just about your mindset. It's about the grind. He's like 40 now and makes music for people like your aunt. It's time for you to grow up. Look who's talking big. I'm making six figures a year. <laughs> okay, I've it. I'm regional manager, and I live with my girlfriend at my own place. I don't need to take shit from a store clerk who lives with his mom. 
Hey now, shut up already, fuck you. <sighs> I want to lay into him so bad because I know he's going to be shitty no matter what I say. So I'm just going to say fuck you. Return the energy. And you! I especially don't need to take shit from someone like you who went to university to study some stupid fucking shit because you don't want to get a real fucking job. I swear so much. At least he has some common sense left in him. And he's never slept with my girlfriend. Oh! No! Seriously? No wonder you didn't want to go on this road trip. What? <laughs> Poor Kari. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. We? <laughs> Kari? I feel so bad for her. Stop the fucking bus. Can I, th I want to throw something at him. I'm not stopping the bus in the middle of the road. Stop the fucking bus. Right now. Throw something. 20 kilometers later. I want to. She's still. Oh, it's Kari. Hey. Um, don't mind me. Um. I just gotta drink that real fast. I'm not in the mood. Actually, I am in the mood. I don't want to deal with this shit. Yep, that's certainly water. Tastes not good. Listen, I've gotta, I've gotta eat my feelings for a second. But how are you doing, Kari? You got dragged into this. It's not your fault. Sorry about Fred. Oh, nothing to apologize for. It's not your fault. Has he always been like this? Oh no no. No. I don't know, has he? Uh, he kind of seems like he probably got a little worse. Well, I guess he could be a little impulsive sometimes, and short-sighted, and outright childish. I know. I mean, you can do better. So, uh, you want to talk about something? You want to talk or something? Yes. <laughs> okay, so why, uh, why aren't you having fun? It's because of me, isn't it? I told him I shouldn't come along. No, baby, it's not your fault. He should have definitely mentioned it ahead of time. However, that's on him, not you. Oh, no, not at all. I just, I don't think I've ever, I've had fun, in, had real fun in years. Why's that? I'm not sure. I just have depression. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> I feel like the people I spent so much time with in the last years are just acquaintances, most of which I'll never see or talk to again. And like, nobody particularly cares about me or what I'm doing. But like, I just had these two guys left. And you can see how that turned out. Speaking of which, what are they doing? I'm just standing there, I guess. But that's not your fault. But it feels like it is. My fault for not keeping up. My fault for not fitting in anymore. So I thought I'd fit in here. But... Fuck. You'll find a place, I'm sure. Honestly, Kari... You're way cooler than these guys. Well, I mean... Uh... What's his name? Isn't so bad. Just a little grumpy. But Fred's an asshole. What do you want to do in the future? Like, jobs? I'm not sure I can get a job. I don't know if I even want a job. <laughs> I relate so hard with this character. Fuck jobs. <laughs> it's so... Looking for jobs after college is not easy and it is not fun. At all. Sorry, I'm complaining too much. It's not like something particularly bad has ever, uh, even happened to me. I mean, shit. They're like, people starving and shit. I shouldn't even feel as bad as I do. You know what? I think it's okay. Not good or anything, but okay. We all feel down every once in a while. You have every right to do so. It doesn't make you a bad person or anything. Take your time. What's important is that you find your peace. So, like dying? What? It's not like dying at all. <laughs> no, not like that. Jeez. Looks like they're coming back. Hey, Gary. <laughs> what 
go back this one. How are you feeling, buddy? Is this whole situation okay for you? Yes. I'm always okay. Oh god. That's when you... That's when you know they're not okay. It's fine. Okay. Hey, Kari. I thought you wanted to return home. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna check on her. I, I don't care what's going on with them. Honestly, I'm not. This is like the weirdest situation. I've never seen him like this. Aw. I'm sorry, honey. You willing to talk to me? You wanna talk about it? <laughs> you wanna have something to drink? <laughs> I could be direct, or I could try to just ignore what happened. I'm gonna assume he doesn't wanna talk about it. He doesn't seem like the type. You wanna have something to drink? No. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, Kari, you, you want something to drink? Here you go. Drink another water? Yep, that's certainly water. Here, you. Here you go. Stay hydrated. Mm, got that. Got that. Uh. he wanted to return home. He did, but his parents won't pick him up. <gasps> Dumbass. We're too far out for them. Way too far. I convinced him to stay. I'm so sorry. You want to talk about it? I have nothing to talk to you about. Because you're a dick. <gasps> Fuck off. <laughs> I wanted to do that so bad for so long. After yourselves, honestly, this is this is messy. Strips. Okay, um, buddy, uh, you also need to hydrate. I don't know why there's beer up here. You don't need beer. doing something else. I'm just not sure what that thing is. And, uh, quite frankly, I, the, this place is messy. And I don't like it. I think we should stop somewhere. The longer we take to the, get to the lake, the worse it gets. Trust me. Last one uh, was Kari's legs. So, okay. None of you are going to talk. So, yep. Same. <laughs> Listen, I have nothing else to do. I just don't even want to talk or anything. What's that? Eat, drink, expect cookies. Mm. 
I start hanging out. You know there's like a thing in there? Like if the radio's broke, you probably play the, the, the recording. Like the tape. Maybe that's why you're being so broke. <laughs> All I had to do was try to break out of the moving vehicle. <laughs> We're here. I doubt anyone is in the mood for a late night swim, so let's just set up our tents here. Um, what's that? Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Figures. What? This is a nice, nice little, uh, little bus. They built a store. They filled it up. <gasps> no. That's. Can you even do that? And built a fucking off stock on top of it. I know that's probably not how you say that, but. Maybe we should check the, on this beforehand. I don't think most people expect lakes to be filled up. But that's just the way it is, I guess. You can hardly tear down the store and dig the lake back up. Even then, it wouldn't be the same lake, technically. Let's just set up our tents and go to sleep. I am so sorry, Kari. You know, I think this is kind of funny. I didn't know what to expect, but it certainly wasn't this. Guess I'll never be a part of your memories of Tolucan and Lake. Then again, I don't think I ever had to be. We came out here for this. Furniture and cheap hot dogs. Fuck. Look, man, I'm sorry. I'll just set up my tent over there. It's fading. Oh no. <laughs> That's sad. That's really sad. Wait. That was the end of the game? I had so much film left. That was... Ugh. Oh. Huh. That was really sad. <laughs> like, I thought there would be a little bit more of, like, a coming to terms with things at the end. Uh, for the, like, the main character. Or, like, some level of peace, like, they've reached the lake. There's still a lake, and it's like... Oh, there's my only three pictures. I would've taken more! I, I thought I was gonna have more opportunities. <laughs> but like... I just- I thought that, uh... There'd be more closure, I guess. With, um... I don't know, like, finding the lake, and they're all there together, and then they just kind of apologize recognizing that things aren't ever going to be the same way they were but kind of ending on good terms and like when they get home it's like they kind of realize it's like they're probably not gonna like hang out the way they used to anymore and they kind of just choose to go their separate ways you know i don't know that's so bleak oh my goodness I, I imagine part of it, like, the conclusion was, it was before they graduated, and I imagine there was, like, some sort of, uh, time limit on the, like, project, so I don't know how, like, if it was, like, a time constraint that it didn't, like, have more to it or more closure. I don't know, maybe that's just not the story that you're looking to tell, like, with finding closure at the end, but... Yeah, I don't know. That was a cute little game. I felt like awkward at points because I was just standing there like, 
trying to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. But yeah, that was bleak and sad. Oh my goodness. But yeah, it was a good game. Anyways, that uh, concludes Northbound. Uh, yeah, I like the music in the game a lot. It's really nice. Anyways, thank you for joining me uh, today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!